But it turns out the fail point for this mission was almost certainly not going to be Komarov or Gagarin if he ended up going instead of Komarov. It was going to be the spaceship itself. Gagarin, along with a host of engineers, did a full-blown inspection of the Soyuz and found 203 significant structural problems, and they all recommended postponement of this mission. But their recommendation was ignored, because again, this mission was so politically important to the Soviet Union that they were effectively ready to risk their astronauts to make it happen. So sure enough, Komarov gets in the Soyuz on launch day, he takes off, and the problems began almost immediately. And so Sure enough, on April 24th, around 7 a.m., Komarov's craft smashes into the ground, killing Komarov, and when they open it up, it's clear what happened to him. He didn't die on impact. He basically burned alive inside of this capsule as it was careening down towards the Earth. And so all that's left of him is this charred pile. 